How's it going, everybody? And thank you for stopping by. We have a website. It's called simplifiednetworking.com. It is going to be embedded in the, uh, the description of every one of the videos that I put out. And what I wanted to do in this video is kind of just take a high level overview of what's going on. So one of the things that I struggled with with having a blog and having the YouTube channel was it was two different areas to maintain. And um, I haven't abandoned the blog, but I figured this would give me much more structure. The blog is great. It allows me to test out a technology and stuff like that, but it doesn't really allow me to structure it the way that I want it to. So what I decided to do was take advantage of the free aspects of Weebly. They offer just a, a website that you can put stuff on. And uh, here I can simply go in here and do like a technology breakdown. For example, if I want to, I'm studying for the service writer CCIE right now. So if I want to focus on service writer and then go intra MPLS, intra AS MPLS, I can come in here and here you have a topology of what we're going to be playing with. And if I want to focus on MPLS LDP, I come in here and focus on MPLS LDP. I can look at the LDP setup, we can look at a topology and the actual configuration of how something is set up and then how it works and things like that. So it's broken down like that. There will be much more granular topologies brought up because this is more of a high level. I will be coming out with other topologies in the near future that will actually show you the conf um, how everything is supposed to work and stuff like that. An example of that would be if we went back to technology breakdowns and we went to enterprise route switch or route switch enterprise infrastructure and then VPN technologies, for example, we come down here, we click on DMVPN, we click on the initial setup of DMVPN. You'll see here that I have a, a different topology and this right here is going to be the configuration that is necessary for to get this particular uh, example up and running. This is a work in progress, so you will be able to uh, see the config as it's going in, but the goal here is to test something out, make sure it works, and then this will be the reference later on. Now, if you are interested in the technology of video on demand, this is just YouTube videos that I have embedded on the site. So we go to Cisco, and then I go to Route Switch Enterprise Infrastructure and click on that. Here you'll be brought to the landing page, and as more and more technologies are demonstrated and things like that, this page will be populated with links. So you simply click on VPN technologies and then DMVPN. And then if you want to watch an overview of DMVPN, you can do that and then watch the video. And I explain, break down how DMVPN works at a high level. If you want to see the configuration of DMVPN, you can do that as well. You can come in here and click on that. And as more and more videos are produced and uploaded and linked, then they'll be put in here. And let's say you watch the video, but I went too fast on something or you were surprised at something or so you want to actually see the configuration, simply click on the technology overview and that'll bring you to this page right here, which is the config, which is nice, which will give you a lot of flexibility. One thing that I decided to do was give you the actual configuration so that you'll be able to go, oh, okay, well, there's all the IP addressing. So I can just go create my own topology. Now, you might be asking, well, how are you doing all of this stuff? Well, I have been using Eve for a very, very long time. I like it, gives me, it gives me a lot of flexibility. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Eve topology. Now, this is my uh, security, routing and switching, enterprise infrastructure, kind of all-in-one topology. Now, there's a lot of stuff turned off and a lot of stuff turned on. So let's go ahead and disable this, um, that hotkey. And here you can see there's a number of the devices are turned off and only a few are turned on. And I did that on purpose because I want to be able to play with the technology when I want to. And there's a lot of different uh, devices uh, turned on and a few, uh, several more that are turned off. And this is gonna give me a lot of flexibility in terms of testing and things like that. So an example of this right now is I have a setup for DMVPN, but if I wanted to, once I've completely covered DMVPN, and leveraged it, I can go flip, I can flip the script and go over to FlexVPN and take a look at how FlexVPN comes into play. Or if I say, you know what, that's cool and all, but I wanna go and study firepower and I can go dive into firepower. But maybe I get tired of firepower and I wanna change, do something different, I can go over to Nexus. Or let's say I wanna go back over and do ASA more. Or if, you know, let's say I don't wanna do anything on enterprise infrastructure or security, 
and I want to focus solely on service provider. I can do that here too. So I can dive into this a bit more and take a look at the technologies in a bit uh, better detail. The cool thing about this is as I'm going through and testing these technologies out, I get to document them here on the website. So I can come back over here to the, uh, the technology breakdowns. This is where we actually go through the, the configuration of something. For example, here I can go on to layer two VPN. And let's say for instance, you are diving into the service provider track and you want to know more about VPLS with BGP auto discovery and LDP signaling. So you can click on that and you get a topology and I uh, break down the configuration that you need in order to get something to work. So you come through here and all the configuration is broken down per device and how you need to configure it and all the details to it. And then I show um, the backend config that you need to have running. And then I do the verification steps. So we go through and we verify all of the endpoints and all the connectivity. And then I show you that the X connects are all up and running. So this is the pseudo wires between the provider edge routers. And then I come down here and I look at CSRA and I configure it and I'm, I show you the config for a CE device and I say, okay, now that we've got that all squared away, then you can see that iOS 24, iOS 21, and iOS, and iOS 17 are all configured and operational the way that they need to be. So you could take the, the config of CSRA, modify it for any one of these nodes and get it up and running. That's the whole goal here. So I can basically take a lab demo something out and then take the results of that, put it on the web page, and you guys can go ahead and take advantage of it. And that's the whole goal. I'll um, go through a section, I'll document everything that I'm doing, put it up on the site, and then I can go back and I record a video and I have a reference, a known working good reference that if I need to, I can say, you know what, here's this. And in the video, I'll link all that together. So you'll have the technology breakdown in the description. You'll have the ability of going if on the video on demand aspect you can go over to the uh, technology breakdown video or uh, breakdown of it and all of that good stuff so I wanted to have um, and side note I will be updating all these um, topologies with more specific PDF variations of them so it'll be you'll know okay this is doing this and this is doing that it won't be as uh, this is just a high level overview of the um, the topology as it sits right now. So, but it's there for reference in case you want to know. Same thing with the Eve topology. It's a little bit bigger um, than the other one, but it gives me a lot of flexibility. So as I'm going through and testing stuff out, I'll be able to do that. Now, one of the things on, on the home page, and if I click on the technology tab itself, you're brought to here. Now, one of the things that I did was I focused on what I've been working on. So right now I've been doing a lot of networking, but eventually I will be adding things like virtualization and server endpoints. So in other words, I'll be doing VMware training. I'll be taking a look at Microsoft and some of the server platforms and testing that type of stuff out because I genuinely like learning technology. And because of that, I like to, as I'm testing it out, I can test something out. I can document it on the site. And I can record a video on it and voila, you guys can Take advantage of it so if i was to come over here to cisco it's going to redirect me to the cisco page and i haven't updated this because it's it's a work in progress i literally just launched the website uh today as a matter of fact and i wanted to shoot a quick video highlighting what's going on so if you are wanting to follow along with me and stuff like that please do so this is a completely 100 percent free resource and the nice thing about it is that it doesn't really cost me anything um the money that uh it, the what it's costed me in order to get it up and running i've already made that money back from uh, other revenue sources so this is more or less just me playing with the technology if there's something you would like to see you can either tweet me or you can uh, leave a comment on one of the videos and say hey rob i'd love to see you do xyz um, i can test that out so i do have the uh, i'd love to play with palo alto and uh more other platforms, uh, F5 and so on and so forth. Because really, if I can virtualize it and play with it, I will. I'll be doing a little bit of wireless here in the near future because of the fact that the new uh, exams have some wireless on them and I think wireless is a cool technology. So there will be that as well. So as I go through technology breakdowns and understand how they work, I'll be documenting them. So you'll see a lot of stuff coming out but I wanted to at least get this up and running to this point so you guys can hang out with me and uh, watch the videos, take advantage of that, um, and stuff like that. So until next time, guys, thank you so much for stopping by, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.